Hi there, so we're going to have a look at Bower.js. Um, I haven't used this too much, but uh, it's a tool that Yeoman.js is using to do package management. So we'll be learning together. I put out by Twitter, and it's uh, primarily for front-end developers. So as you'd expect, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript package management is featured. And um, let's see. So first thing you need to do is npm install Bower. So you're going to do npm install Bower and do the dash G to install it globally. Um, and then if you look at this usage, oh, and I should have said I'm at twitter.github.com forward slash Bower. Um, if you look at the usage to install packages, you can actually install jQuery any of these ways. So you can point to jQuery or you can point to the GitHub repo. Um, that Bower hosts for jQuery, or actually, yeah, this is a Bower repo, so it'll always have the latest jQuery here, and some of these other interesting combinations, and you can also provide a hash for the specific version you might want. So let's have a look at how that works. So now I have this installed on my system, I can do Bower dash dash help, and you can see all the commands are here. There's maybe 10 or so of them. And it's pretty straightforward. Let's uh, say I wanted to search for some sort of jQuery plugin. I do Bower search jQuery, and I get a big list <clears throat> of different jQuery plugins. Let's say I know that uh, I want to, it's some sort of jQuery UI. I could do a pipe and grep uh, UI, and that'll filter things down a little bit for me. So let's say I just actually want to, um, uh, install jQuery. I would just do Bower install jQuery and that might take a second. It's going to clone and and, uh, and uh, fetch the uh, jQuery out, uh, from GitHub and as we can see it fetched the latest which is 1.9.0 at time of this screencast and interestingly it copies this over to my home directory to a dot Bower cache directory. So let's have a quick look at that in my home directory in cache. So far it looks like I've uh, also uh, downloaded select too. If we look at jQuery <clears throat> and then this this is a big SHA uh, that it used for that directory and if we looked at that it simply got uh, the root of that directory with the minified and the jQuery file. If we looked at our current directory, which is this project, um, and we look at the components directory, forward slash jQuery, we have the same files. So sensibly it's doing that so that uh, if I'm in another project and I ask Bower to install jQuery, it will just copy those over. Now let's say I want to clear out that cache um, in my home directory. I can simply do Bower, uh, I always forget this, I want to say cache clear, but it's cache clean. And that will actually remove everything from my home directory. So there, everything's gone from there. And I still have the cache directory, but everything's been nuked. So now, if I was to, say, uh, install jQuery, but I wanted an older version. Let's say I want to do 1.7 for some reason. I can specify that with the hashtag. And it's going to get me jQuery 1.7. Now this might take a second. Um, let's just sort of look at what else we might want to look at. Let's see, are we are we getting anything here? <clears throat> there it goes. So it's fetching jQuery, and it fetched us jQuery uh, 1.7.2. So if we actually did a head on our components jQuery uh, file, sure enough, it's 1.7.2. The last time I tried, I tried to do a Bower um, uh, update, Bower update jQuery, and I thought it would go to 1.9.0. Let's see if it works this time. No, it still is giving me 1.7.2. <clears throat> so if I want to force that to happen, it looks like I could do 1.9. And it'll actually go in now and nuke the 1.7.2 and give me the latest jQuery. So if we take a look at our home Bower 
cache directory, jQuery, oops, didn't want to do that. Um, well, we only see one SHA. And in fact, if we uh, take a look at that file, um, let's do a head on that file. Sure enough, it's 1.9.0. And also, if we look in this project directory at the jQuery that we get there, and do a head on that, it's 1.9.0. So we forced the, the update. I'm not quite sure why that didn't work for me, but something to, to note. Um, what else can we do? Well, we can do some specific commands for if we're developing link and register. So we won't look at that. Um, that's if you want to build your own uh, Bower component <clears throat> and uh, register that to the, to the uh, Bower registry. Let's have a look at uh, doing uh, Bower list now. So it's going to show that we have uh, jQuery 1.9 installed. Let's say we install another package. Let's do select two. There's something on my mind because I was using it recently. And once we've installed that, we can do a Bower list. Um, come on, internets. I'm in a place that I would think would be a little faster. Here it goes. So it's fetching select two. Now if we do a Bower list, we should see both jQuery and select two. And it shows those hash versions. Now, we notice that it, it was uh, installing to the components directory. Now let's say we want to uh, configure it so it doesn't use the components directory. Well, there's just a few uh, configuration options for Bower, and you write a .bowerrc file in your home folder. Um, I think I can, you can actually do it in the project folder, and that will be sort of more specific. And these are the properties. Um, we just care about the directory for now that it's writing to. Let's just say, let's uh, um, let's remove everything from this directory. And let's do a Bower clear, clear cache, cache clean. I can never remember it. Cache clean. Okay. So now let's say we we don't want it to be in components anymore. So let's touch Bower RC, and let's open it up real quick. And it's just going to take a valid JSON object. And so we'll just create that here. And let's just say, um, let me get the tab stop correct for all you idiomatic JavaScript folks that are going to get pissed off um, if I use four tabs. There we go. OK, so now I'm tabbing two spaces. You guys are happy. So if I said directory. And let's say we want it to be uh, lib. Could be ext, could be vendor, whatever. So now if I look at my directory, I just have this Bower RC file. So if I do Bower install select to, hopefully my internet connection's sped up a little bit here. So it's cloning select to, and it's going to fetch and uh, we're hoping that it's going to put it in that lib directory this time instead of components. And sure enough, my internet connection is slow. Sorry, guys. There it goes. And now if we list, what do you know? We have a lib directory. Let's list out the lib directory, select two, and there's our stuff, right? So we still uh, stuck that in the Bower cache in our home directory, but our project directory, we were able, able to override components. Um, you might want to do that, and that's a nice little flexibility to have. Uh, the JSON is the same thing for our component.json. So uh, as you notice, um, well, let's look at our component JSON. We haven't looked at that yet. So we could have uh, a dependency. So if you've used um, Node.js, 
that uses uh, package.json to specify certain dependencies. And um, probably so it doesn't conflict, uh, Bower uses component.json. So let's just cut and paste this in in cheat and but let's 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 not call this component json let's let's call this uh config.json okay and paste that in there and so we're stealing their guy so this is saying um that it's a uh, Approximately one. I don't know what this this means. If this is approximately, but it's saying 1.72. Um, we already have select two there, right? So now <clears throat> this is going to require some more setup. We have to go into that dot bower rc, and we're going to say, uh, <clears throat> if you recall up here, we can say where the JSON file is, and we can change it from component to uh, our config so we called it config.json right so now we've overridden that now we should be able to say bower oh what do we want to do i think um underscores slightly lighter weight and say jquery excuse me and so let's install that and see what happens So if we list out our lib now, we have our underscore. Let's do just a bower install jQuery and see what happens. Because as you recall, uh, this file that we snagged off here said um, tilde 1.72. So it looks like the tilde is um, probably at minimum 1.72 because it looks like it grabbed us the latest. But everything's working, and we've overridden um, the configure the convention of having a component.json, and we've overridden the uh, convention of having a components directory just by placing those two properties in our Bower RC. So that's kind of neat. Um, there's really not too many other things we'd probably need to do um, to deploy it. You just uh, actually manually reference the files um, from from an HTML page using a script tag. Because all it's trying to do is package management and point to different uh, GitHub re repos as appropriate. So let's see, what else do we have here? Let's see if there's anything else we might want to go over. Um, we, what if we wanted to see all of the versions for jQuery? using info, we can look at the versions that are available on the Bower repos. And uh, as you can see, it looks like they're, they've got most of the versions we'd need. Um, we've used pretty much every, every one of the other commands except for link and register. So uh, that's about all there is to Bower. I uh, hope you find it useful. And uh, later we're going to look at how Yeoman leverages Bower.